Okay, we're having a starting problem. We took this bolt out. We took this bolt out. And we popped this off. Then uh, we have a little hose here. trying to get this piece out. Never been done before by me. Okay, here you go. Okay. Okay, uh, reason we're having starting problem, I am uh, believing that this, I believe it's IAT, it measures how much air is going through this. This is kind of like a, in a car where your air filter would be, but uh, is measuring how much airflow it is. This is the plug that goes to it. Uh, this sensor was loose, and if you see there's a gasket, it was halfway out. So it was not doing a good job, and it probably had a leak. We pushed it back in and sealed it. While we're at it, we clean this area, we clean this area. I'm going to use a throttle body cleaner. I see a little bit of dust there. Clean the throttle body. Don't use carburetor or brake cleaner, and do not move that uh, butterfly by hand. Uh, you may have to adjust it. Use your gas and get somebody to help you if you need to. Uh, we're going to clean that as well, and I think we're done. To get to this, you have to go to this side and take the two bolts out. This allows you for this item to pivot. and. Basically, it sits on top of these little plastic thing. One bolt holds it here, and another bolt sits, uh, another bolt right here. This piece of plastic, make sure you put it back. It goes right there. That's where it goes. Okay? And then this is your fire arrester. Uh, it will go in the throttle body. Uh, very important piece, probably. <laughs> and uh, that's all the loose item. This item on the top, or whatever, I don't know what you call it. Also, you got to disconnect this right here. Uh, it pivots. Once you open this section up, it pivots. You see, I can move it. So it, will, it allows you to work on it. And the bottom bolt, don't mess with it. Uh, it's very difficult to get to, and it needs to be loose so you can have the pivot motion, as far as I can tell. All right, good luck. Uh, we will start it up and see how it will run afterward. Okay, this is a cleaner, throttle body. You can buy it from an auto parts store, okay? Don't use a uh, carburetor cleaner. This is your IAT. Don't touch it. It has sensors, and it measures the airflow, and it just goes in straight like that. That's what it does. It goes in straight. Uh, you push it in, and uh, it will measure how much airflow is. To get the butterfly, that little metal opened up, uh, you have to put the ignition on. Uh, go over here, press the middle button right there. This allows the, see right now if you want to go forward, you cannot. So if you push the metal in. And I do it one-handed. Uh, anyway, you push the center, and now you, you got wide open throttle, maximum gas. Uh, that will open up the butterfly, and you can spray the inside to clean it up. Uh, mine doesn't look like it needs it. I think what it was, uh, this was loose, and the sensor wasn't working. It was not determining how much air is going in the engine and it was giving me problem because of it so uh, I think we're pretty much done uh, I think vibration of this was the reason it got loose I'm gonna tighten that bolt if I can uh, the bottom bolt that allows me to pivot this thing I don't like it loose I want it because it will the vibration will again probably give me problem uh, so anyway we go we're gonna clean this uh, basically, you just spray it. That's it. And uh, 
it's going to make it difficult for the engine to start and then wipe it. Get all the crud out. I don't have cruds, but uh, it does have a little hose you can use as well. So anyway, spray everything. This goes right here. So make sure you put it back on. And uh, we will see how it will run afterward, okay? After we put it together. Okay, hindsight, I could have just pushed the uh, IAT in like that and I would have it would have solved the problem but I would not have been able to clean anything over here or inspect anything so once you're done make sure this seal is correct there's no air leak make sure this seal is okay and it was rather easy now over here make sure this thing is on top it's, once that goes in, all of this falls apart. I did have to take the bottom bolt out to be able to put everything back in. And uh, that sums it up. Uh, next, we're going to start it up. And this side did not need to be taken off either. You only take this side off. Alrighty. Talk to you later and uh, we see how the engine will run. Okay, uh, the temperature outside is about 60 degrees right now. Uh, we're not expecting the engine to start right away because of all the chemical we put in. We're going to go ahead and have the throttle all the way down. And wow, actually with all the chemicals in, it's starting so fast. <laughs> Amazing. Here you go. I think it's running. Is it running? Negative. Let's do it again. Let's give it gas. Okay. Let's give it gas. Okay, it's going. 